hydraulic release, we're sometimes referred to as a wet pilot. Now, in order to operate this valve, we simply have to relieve the water pressure that's holding the valve in the closed position. Now, that water pressure can be relieved through the manual release that's located here in the riser trim piping, or it can be uh, relieved through the hydraulic release piping or pilot piping that is out in the protected area. This particular manual release uh, will operate uh, located at the end of uh, the pilot line located in the protected area. So if we were to go ahead and operate this valve, we would lose our prime water pressure, which would cause the valve to trip. Let's take a look. Now with the valve stripped, we're going to shut the system down. We're going to close the system control valve. And with the system control valve being closed or in the closed position, we're going to go ahead and open uh, on the right side here. We're going to open our auxiliary drain, which directs, uh, directly communicates to the outlet chamber itself. And we're going to open our flow test connection, which is located in the back. If we have a system main drain, we can go ahead and open that as well. The system completely shut down. To restore the system is actually very simple. We have the prime water valve in the open position, so we have prime water pressure coming into the system piping. Now we're going to use that prime water pressure to fill the pilot line piping so that we can hold the valve in the closed position. So the prime water valve here, uh, as the water passes through that prime water valve, it goes through a strainer, a restricted orifice, and a check valve. Now that restricted orifice, is all the water pressure that comes into the valve to hold it closed in the prime chamber, uh, and all the water pressure that goes up and fills that pilot line piping has to come through that restricted orifice. So you'll notice when I close the manual release that's located in the protected area at the end of the pilot piping, depending on the length of the pilot piping, it's going to take a little bit of time to get your prime water to reestablish because the water has to pass through a restricted orifice and essentially fill the entire pilot line piping to reestablish our prime water pressure to hold the valve in the closed position. Now with the prime water pressure reestablished, our valve is in the closed position. We're simply going to restore um, our water supply and get the valve back into, uh, uh, into a functioning state. So we're going to take this valve here. We're going to follow over to the auxiliary drain and we're going to close the auxiliary drain that communicates directly to the outlet chamber. We're going to partially close our flow test connection and then we're going to get our system uh, control valve back on. As I get the system control valve flowing some water here, I'm going to go ahead and close the flow test connection the rest of the way and then I'm simply going to open our system control valve to get the water supply fully on. And once that valve is in the open position, our deluge system has been completely restored. You'll see we have a green panel. Now to test the water flow switch, our PS10 pressure operated water flow switch uh, is located on the right side of the trim here. You'll notice there's a ball valve in front of it that's in the open position. That ball valve is the uh, alarm isolation valve. So we always want that valve in the open position. And then we follow that around, we have a closed valve here in the front. This closed valve is the valve that's going to send water pressure over to that valve when we test the switch. So we're going to take this valve here, our alarm test valve, we're going to open it, and we're going to send water pressure through the trim piping over and activate our PS10 switch, and you'll see that we have the alarm. Now when I close this valve, that water pressure is going to drain back through but it's going to drain through a uh, drain check valve that's located here on the trim piping. So as that pressure comes back and passes through that drain check, it'll relieve the pressure on the switch and the switch will be in the, uh, the restored position. If for whatever reason we can't get the pressure off of the PS10 switch, it's uh, very likely that it's the cause of that is because of a piece of debris that may be uh, stuck in the uh, drain check valve itself and not allowing that water pressure to, to be relieved from the trim piping to get the pressure off of the PS10 uh, water flow switch. So we can take that uh, drain check and clean it or replace it and that'll get our pressure off of the switch and we'll be back in business.